Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I want to share with you how to calculate bread dough to fit your pan. I am so glad that many of you tried making shock pan during this period. I have seen beautiful bread that tapped me on Instagram. On the other hand, I have received so many questions asking how much dough do I need for my pan? Or can I half the recipe because my pan is too small? Here is the answer video for you. Calculating the dough is critical when you bake shock pan with the lid. If you did wrong, the bread comes out like this. Need a little bit of math, but I tried to make it simple as much as I can. Let's get started. These are the shock pan loaf pan that I have. Japanese shock pan loaf mold comes in three sizes and we call it as 1 king size, 1.5 king size, and 2 king size. King is an old Japanese unit for counting weight. I don't know why we call bread in the old ways. Bread supposed to be not quite old, but how it is. Interesting, isn't it? First, let me explain the baker's percent. Let's take a look at my basic shock pan recipe. I usually use 1.5 kin mold for this recipe because I like the size. This is just good for one meal. Ingredients weight are left hand side and baker's percent is on the right hand side. Baker's percent or percentage is proportion of ingredients used in making bread, expressing the ingredients in part in 100 as a ratio of mass of the total weight of the flour. The total weight of the dough is 580 gram, and the total baker's percentage is 185.2%. I hope you stay with me. Now let's talk about loaf pan comes in different sizes. My shock pan mold measurement is about 20 by 10 by 12 centimeters. The volume is 2400 milliliters. You can measure the volume by adding water in shock pan mold. Weight and volume is equal, so my shock pan mold has a capacity for 2400 grams. Now let's see the ratio of bread dough and capacity. To see the exact ratio of bread dough for the mold, calculate by dividing the capacity by actual weight. My bread dough recipe weighs 580 grams, as I said, that calculates 4 to 1 ratio. Now let's make this into 2 kins mold. The size is 26 by 12 by 12.5. So it makes 3900 grams capacity. And now divided by 4 makes 975 grams. That expresses I need 975 grams of the bread dough. To calculate the weight of each ingredient, I need the baker's percent I have calculated earlier. 975 divided by 185% multiplied by 100 makes 527 grams. This is the weight of the flour I need. And then multiply by the baker's percent for the each ingredient. And your recipe is ready. Plus or minus 5% is not affect to the final product in my experience, so make it to the whole number if you want. In this way, you can get exact measurement for any loaf pan. Now let's make 2 kins shock pan loaf based on the numbers we have just calculated. This is the size of the selling at the bakery. It's a huge shock pan mold, but with the lid, you can bake beautiful bread even if your oven is small. The procedure is the same as always, so I skip the whole process. If you are new here, please check my shock pan playlist. I'll put the link down below or on the right hand side corner. Since this is my brand new mold, I have to prepare not to stick to the side. Wash and dry the mold, oil the surface with non-stick oil spray or vegetable oil. 
the fermentation is successfully done, let's divide the dough into three. Divide into a little over 300 each dough. Shape into a bowl and let it sit for 10 minutes as a bench rest. While resting the dough, the gluten relax and you can easy to handle. After 10 minutes, roll it out to remove the gas inside. Fold in three and roll it up, stretching the surface. Pinch to seal. Try adding flour as less as possible to make moist bread. Put in the mold, check the direction of the dough. Cover with the plastic wrap and let it rise for the final fermentation. Meanwhile, preheat the oven for 100 degrees Celsius. The dough rises just under the edge, it's time to pop in the oven. It took 35 minutes for the final fermentation. Once you pop in the oven, reset the heat to 200 degrees Celsius. I want to make sure the dough cooks through, so I start baking on low heat to be secure. The low heat makes the dough rise slow but steady in a way. Adjust the time to your oven. Bake 45 minutes in total. Smells so good in my kitchen. Take out from the oven and take off the lid. It looks perfect. My calculation was right. Drop the mold from 20 cm above the countertop to remove the hot gas. It's too soft to slice, so let it sit at least a couple of hours or preferably slice the next day. I am thinking that I make an egg sandwich next day so I keep in a plastic wrap, leave it until tomorrow. Alright, I hope you learn how to calculate your bread dough in this video. And once you understand the formula, you can make perfect bread at any time. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!